You won't believe Tyson Fury's increased level of fitness in front of his matchup with Alexander Usyk. Usyk isn't far behind the British heavyweight champion, who has prepared exceptionally hard for this bout, and also displayed an amazing body. Take a peek, the boxing community is also disseminating its fight forecasts. Anthony Joshua believes Usyk will prevail in this match. But I think, I think Usyk will win. I think Usyk will win, yeah. Who do you want to win? Um, it's a great question, it's a great question. Probably Fury, logically, because... This much-awaited bout is only one week away, and it appears that both competitors are ready for the biggest battle of their careers. But what do the experts think will happen in this fight? Stay tuned and watch as we reveal in this video that Tyson has impressed the boxing world. Fans are ogling Fury's ripped body and best shape thanks to his amazing physical transformation that occurred in the lead-up to his clash matchup with Alexander Usyk, the Gypsy King. Fury has been flaunting his trim figure on social media. I've seen you, mate, a user wrote. He now appears to be even more attractive. Another expressed agreement, saying, Tyson is in amazing shape. To be honest, he appears to be in the best shape of his life. Before he was forced to cancel his February fight with Usyk due to cuts sustained during one of his last sparring sessions. Fury was also ripped. Following the crossover clash, the main narrative was that Fury had undervalued Nanu and had not trained properly. However, it looks like Fury has learned from his mistakes heading into the USK showdown, as all of the work coming out of his camp suggests that he has left no stone unturned in training. Fury put on a dismal display in his most recent fight, narrowly edging out a decision against the boxing novice in October. In a recent interview, Fury's promoter, Frank Warren, revealed with confidence that his client is in the best shape of his career and is in excellent physical and mental health. Fury promised a historic performance, he seems to be in excellent health, and even though he suffered that cut, it has healed well because he has done physical back tack camps, according to our conversation earlier this week. He never looked better, in my opinion. Entering a training camp right away raised concerns that he would reach his peak too soon. Warren said in the interview that he has put in a lot of work to be at the top of his game. Nick, I'm sure his incredible performance on May 18 will make you sick to your stomach. If you were curious about the Gypsy King's eating regimen before this battle, I'll give you a preview. On his days off, Fury consumes roughly 3,000 calories, but on training days he consumes twice as much, or roughly 6,000 calories. The Gypsy King usually has steak and potatoes for dinner, and for breakfast he usually has eggs, bread, and lean beef sausages. The British national has made fun of us during the build-up to their battle, but he has now acknowledged that he will have a difficult evening at work. You would be a more to underestimate Alexander Yusek. He's a genuinely dangerous dude. I'm working very hard for him. I'm exerting every effort. As a man, Usyk holds my respect. I'd also have respect for his career. The Olympian, the undisputed cruiserweight champion, and the unified heavyweight champion recognize Usyk's superior technical ability. You have to understand that I'm battling the real stuff, the Gypsy King remarked. I'm excited about the task. He's a southpaw with strong boxing skills and footwork. Technically sound, he has defeated Daniel Suarez and Anthony Joshua, demonstrating his ability to compete with the best heavyweights. I am facing a formidable opponent who possesses more skills than just boxing. He is obstinate and shares my desire for victory. Putting all skills and qualities aside, the winner of the night will be the one who wants it the most. He will win if he wants it more than I do, and I will win if I want it more than he does. I simply believe that on this particular night, my willpower and resolve will outweigh his. He's a southpaw, he's, he's, he's got good footwork, so they say, and he's got good boxing ability and technically he's sound. He's proved he can mix it with the big heavyweights because he's, he's big. Fury has finally acknowledged his rival, Usyk, and is not treating the Ukrainian lightly. Like Fury, he has put in a lot of training for this match. He recently published that he entered this fight with an incredible physique, and after finishing training camp, he shared a photo of his own amazing body, Usyk captioned the picture, the hard work is done, so both fighters are prepared for this highly anticipated fight, and the boxing world has been sharing their predictions. Here you go. I want Tyson Fury to win because I just want to see that, that opportunity to see Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury finally lock horns. I think Usyk's going to win, that's what my gut's telling me because I think he's just going to... Mark Tibbs, a former professional boxer, recently discussed the fight and expressed enthusiasm for it. Tibbs thinks that Fury has the advantage because of his larger stature and more strength, but he didn't write out Usyk completely because the Ukrainian fighter can move quickly and nimbly. Tibbs also made a prediction about the fight, 
saying that fury will prevail, possibly by stoppage, because of the stature and superior ring control against Usyk. In-depth analyses of this battle were also provided by Simon Jordan and Adi Oladipo, who talked about their forecasts, tactics, and possible results. Um, former undisputed cruiserweight champion, you look at his amateur record, it doesn't get much better than Alexander Usyk, and I think Tyson Fury knows that. I I've changed my As the battle drew closer, Oladipo began to favor Alexander Usyk instead of Tyson Fury. He highlighted how Fury's previous performance versus Daniel Duo paled in comparison to Usyk's abilities. Poor performance versus Francis Migano Oladipo believes that Usyk's mobility and technical accuracy will test Fury's endurance and flexibility. He pointed out that Usyk moves slowly at first but gains speed as the rounds go on, indicating that Fury's intention to instigate a melee may backfire if Usyk keeps his distance and strategic angles. Simon Jordan said that Tyson Fury understands that Usyk is a better fighter than he is, and that Fury will rise to the occasion and give the fight his all. He also acknowledged Fury's recent lackluster performances and blamed them on a perceived lack of challenge. Jordan predicted that Fury would have an advantage because of his size and skill, stating that a good large man frequently defeats a good tiny man. He also said that Usyk is up against the hardest opponent he has ever faced, raising doubts over whether his technical skill will be enough to overcome Fury's overwhelming strength and stature. Oladipo and Jordan concurred that, considering the fighter's technical prowess and calculated methods, the bout was more likely to become a tactical chess match than a brawl. Jordan noted that the fight will depend on strategy and endurance because neither fighter possesses Deontay Wilder's level of concussion power. The news that a rematch between Fury and Usyk is already scheduled alarmed both commentators. They think that if Fury prevails easily, there would be less interest in a rematch, especially because a matchup with Anthony Joshua could be in the works. Oladipo specifically promoted a Fury vs. Joshua bout at Mumbley Stadium, saying that the two fighters ought to square off soon. Tony Bellew, a former cruiserweight champion and opponent of Alexander Usyk, offered his thorough opinions on Tyson Fury and Usyk's impending bout. Times, whereas with someone like Tyson Fury, he's now <laughs> and that is the worst thing in the world you can do. Grace was given to Usyk, whom he described as the only boxer who made him feel uncomfortable in the ring. He thinks Usyk is unrivaled in his abilities, flexibility, and boxing knowledge. Savor the most recent information.